The first time I listened to this album, I was in a room full of people and we listened to it on cheap computer speakers and I absolutely hated it. But after listening to it again in my own time, here's my opinion. The intro track is by far my favorite track on the album. The instruments are beautiful and effective. This song just really creates a beautiful scene in your mind. Keys to My Life is pretty cool. I think the vocal mixing here is amongst the best out of the whole album. Pretty average performance from Ty and some cool witty lines from Kanye. This song is the first example, in my opinion, of the very shaky mixing throughout this album. Like Ty's voice sounds fine but the hook and Kanye's voice just sound bad to me I don't know why mixing aside the song is pretty lackluster I was kind of bored listening to it talking was pretty fun I saw North getting a lot of criticism online about her voice but I thought it was like really cool how confident she is at such a young age the second half of the song is really beautiful I think Ty did a great job like showing appreciation to his daughter it's just overall a very pretty song oh back to me this song is definitely the most unfortunate song on this album the sample great the way Ty comes in is great it's exactly how I anticipated him to come into the song. Kanye's first voice is decent. It was all going great until this part. I just can't get over this part. Other than the sample at the start and the very questionable vocal mixing, this song is not bad at all. I kind of like it. The vibe completely changes on this song in, in a good way, I guess. The beat definitely stands out from every other beat before it at this point. It kind of sounds like something Tyga would rap on. But I would say Kanye adapted pretty well to the flow and YG did his thing as well. So it's pretty cool. This song is just straight out of Jesus. The Brazilian funk sample was just crazy. I think like in live performance, is this gonna be insane this is also definitely one of the most fun quavo verses i've heard in like years burn is one of the best tracks on this album again the vibe with this one just completely changes kanye raps in this one like he would have in like the the mid 2000s which is really cool to hear again fuck some this song is just solid across the board the tyne carty hook works pretty well despite me not liking his new voice i really like the part at the end of kanye's verse where the beat just kind of slows down for travis to come in i thought that was really cool the title track for this album is one of my least favorites i I hate the mixing on this track and I thought everyone's verses was just subpar. The Inter Milan fans sample thing definitely grew on me after the first listen. I actually really liked Rich the Kid's verse but I thought it was quite unnecessary for him to sing along with the hook. Carty's verse was average, it's typical from him but I did really like this line. I'm still not entirely sure how to feel about this track. When I first heard it I thought hey this could be like an interlude track or something but it's, it's the longest song on this album. Good was unfortunately taken down from streaming services which is really unfortunate because if Stars was wasn't my favorite song on this album then this definitely would be problematic was actually my favorite song on the album when i first listened to it kanye's voice was all right it was kind of weird at times but what really makes this track for me are the trumpets that come in like halfway through the song i really like those final song on the album is decent not really much to say about it just more rapping about women and money honestly it kind of sounds like it should be on life of pablo or something overall the album's all right the first time i listened to it i thought it just about beat jesus as king and is like nowhere near donda but honestly after listening to it again i think I think it beats Jesus is King by a mile and it's much closer to Donda than I previously thought and it is most definitely reviewable. I give it a 5.5 out of 10.